Hi, welcome to Inspiration Station here on entrepreneur.com. I'm Kirsten Kloss. Thank you very much for watching. On today's show, we're going to be focusing on entrepreneurship in academics. And my guest today on the show is Dr. Keith Roberts. Uh, well, Dr. Roberts uh, has been a leader in higher education for over 50 years, including university professor, university planner, researcher, and vice president of academics at Brigham Young University in Hawaii before he became involved in international higher education. Well, Dr. Roberts is passionate about academics in developing nations and has been frustrated uh, with the struggles many authors in these nations have when trying to publish their work since international journalists are all published in the English language. It was this fact combined with Dr. Roberts' passion for education in developing nations that helped really form the idea of TotalEdit.com, which helps both English-speaking authors as well as those who speak English as a second language edit and publish their work. Dr. Roberts, a very uh, interesting career path from you. Thank you very much for joining us on, on the program today. I'm pleased to be here and thank you so much for your time also. Well, your editing solution services and, and your international education institution relationships are impressive. Uh, can you explain how you took your initial idea and brought it to the international level? Um, yes, you know, all of all of my career, I have been interested in doing creative things and trying to have an impact in what what I do. From my very first job as a math professor, I I tried to get improvement in what I was doing. I, I got involved in, in uh, pro projects that were funded by outside sources so we could do creative things. When I got into the university leadership position, I always was looking for ways to do things better. And these final years that I've been working as a consultant, I was impressed with the quality of work that the professors were doing in these developing nations. I've, I've been in uh, most of the nations in Asia and throughout the Pacific. And I noticed that uh, all of us in higher education, that includes those of us in, in the UK and in the United States, were missing the wisdom of these professors who were doing things but could never get them into the environment where they could be discussed. And that, that environment was the uh, publishing in international journals. Hmm. Well, Dr. Roberts, so what is the overall most favorite feature that you, your clients uh, like about the Total Edit service? What, what they like about Total Edit service is that we provide uh, first language English speakers as the editors. See, when you're in a, uh, a country like China or Vietnam or Indonesia, there will be people on your faculty who will be in the Department of English, but they will be second language speakers. And so they will fall into the same traps that second language speakers have. There's just certain things that they don't quite do right when it comes to the written word. You're always best when you have a first language speaker, speaker as your editor. And we can do that now because of technology. Hmm. So we provide first language speakers as the editors. And, and how is Total Edit changing the way your clients write documents, basically? Well, one of the things that's enabling to, them to write documents, there's a reluctance. There's a reluctance uh, among scholars in these developing nations because there's a sense of pride. And, and they know they don't get the English language right, even though their research is right. And so there's a reluctance to submit to journals that will reject them. And a downside of that is that there's a whole subset of uh, what we call predatory journals. These are academic journals that uh, aren't credible, that will solicit for money journal articles from people in developing nations. And so we want to provide the skills so that these people who really have something to say can say it to the people who will really listen, which are the, the, the folks who read the scholarly journals that are reputable. Hmm. So as an educational entrepreneur, what, what passion and skill set has kept you determined and focused uh, on, on building strong worldwide brand and, and product service? Well, I think the thing about it is um, 
I saw the need. My colleague, James Jacob, who's the president of the company, he also is an international consultant, and he's done even more work throughout the world. He's done a lot in Africa in addition to Asia. And he saw it too. And we both came together with identifying this need. And when we know there's a need, then we felt like we could satisfy that need. And, and so we do two things. One, we encourage people who maybe have not thought about publishing to publish. And then we support them in doing it. And I think that helps the quality, not only of the professor, but it raises the status of the university where the professor works. So there's so, a uh, lot of incentive. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a lot of incentive from the point of view of both the professor and the university to have meaningful publication. Hmm. Well, and you've, you've grown quite, uh, quite rapidly. Um, how, many, how many clients do you have and, and how did you manage this growth internationally? Well, well our, our clients, we have, um, we have clients in China that, in fact, our, our, um, our number one client in China is Peking University, which is the number one university in China by just about everyone's measure. And they have a, a, the Peking University Educational Review, which is a journal that they have been publishing. We now are working with them and they are publishing that journal in English. So the impact of that is all of, all of the work that's being done in China in, ed, higher edu, in education and higher education will now be available to the broader audience because scholarship and all of the scholarly activities in the United, in the world right now are pretty much measured through English, read through English. So that's, that's one of the important things we're doing in the case of China. And, and by helping China, we're helping everyone because we're giving access to Chinese uh, scholars work to people who don't speak Chinese. And uh, we have, and, and we also have um, uh, partnerships in Taiwan. We have partnerships in Vietnam, and we have quite a few partnerships in Indonesia because both uh, James Jacob and I have had experience in Indonesia. And there are, you, you have to realize there are literally thousands of universities in in these countries. Yeah, the market is huge. Um, uh, you know, I, I like to ask this question of my guests um, here for entrepreneur.com because it is entrepreneurial. Um, if you could give one piece of advice to other entrepreneurs um, with all your experience in this international uh, realm, uh, what would that be? Okay, I would say be flexible. Be flexible. Listen to your client. Just listen to your client and be ready, ready to adjust what you're offering, adjust your product to meet what the needs are, not, not to force your preconceived idea into the market. Listen to the market and, and the quicker you respond to it, the faster your, your company will grow or your idea will grow. Great feedback. Well, Dr. Roberts, thank you very much for joining us on the show today. It was, it was great uh, hearing you share your experiences. Thanks for joining us. You're very welcome, and I appreciate the time again. Thank you so much. Our guest today, Dr. Keith Roberts. Check out the website, totaledit.com. Always an interesting uh, to research uh, some options for you. Uh, my name's Kirsten Kloss. You're watching Inspiration Station here on entrepreneur.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Stay tuned again real soon. Bye for now.